Pilahi Paki rose unscheduled to give her definition of aloha at a 1970 conference to discuss Hawaii's future. Her words electrified leaders and scholars who gathered at the Kennedy Theater at the University of Hawaii. She had been an unassuming homemaker and phone operator until a dying elder whose great-grandfather had been the last priest at Kapua Noniheiau in North Kona singled her out to receive his knowledge. Pilahi was already revered for her spiritual nature and regarded as an important cultural resource when Eddie met her in 1960. I went to the Bishop Museum and I went upstairs to the library, knocked the door, and good thing the librarian was in, you know. So she opened the door. She said, yes, I said, my teacher Kaga Mepukui told me anytime you come to the museum, you mention my name. So she said, come in. And when I walked in, she locked the door. She said, the index file is right there. And when I went to the index file, I opened it. The first card that came up to me was Queen Lilio Kalani. So I called Pilai one day. I said, Pilai, you know, I find something really interesting in that, but you know the area. I mentioned about that area. She laughed. She says, where are you? I said, I'm at home right now. He said, I'll meet you. And we met at the Wailana restaurant, and we sat there for over two hours in the back, having something to eat and discussing a song of the smelly place at Laoni Poko Lahaina. So I look at Pilai. She said, well, we're from Lahaina, so I know that place. And we decided to write the song. And I just laughed all the way. 